I'm back to the very inhospitable land that is Armenia. An apostat was found. I doesn't like us anyway, so you can die. What here we? I don't want to write a book. It's very expensive, and we are lacking money. Let's give a real quick look at our finances from our vassals. So they are not paying us anything. We have a whole bunch of people here that don't want to give us money. Because they're all Muslim. Okay, being over the size is a pretty hefty malice. I wasn't aware that that is so much. So who to give this to? Wait, we have this city here. Let's turn this barony into something. That gets rid of one more thing and we just get got to get horses. Let's look into our court here. Our steward. Ambitious, he's wrong for the job. That's a woman. Our chancellor. Might be alright. Let's give him the county of horses. Get people a little bit more friendly toward us. One. Capera. And. What religion are you? You're Jewish. Does not wish to convert, despite him loving us so. Okay, so this host declares war upon us. Ah, the excitement is real. And obviously what's going to happen is they will jump immediately on the weakest thing. So let's see how that turns out for us. We have no allies to call. Not enough money. Uh, we have to stand them down or we will lose them. At least we get to rally our troops here. And once he's lost, left, not lost, left this, we can raise these troops as well. Shoring up a little bit more manpower. We are really in, in a constant state of warfare. And for some reason they caught up with us here. I don't understand it. No one's going to understand it. But we might have a chance. Okay, let's give him the center. Flank one. And flank two. No. Blank. Two. They have sent all they're willing to send. Mm. I think we need to deal with uh, threat news sometime soon. Can't afford any notable 
amount of mercenaries, so we might just lose this. Is there anyone we can call into this? Nope. So let us hope that the defensive bonus here does anything good for us. Can be a little bit frustrating if you just in in this constant. Okay, he turned around. Seeing my army behind him, my reinforcements approaching. So what we are going to do is we're going to attack. And we have to go from where? Doesn't matter. All of them will have a crossing. So what we are going to do, we're going to attack and raise our army underneath him as we attack. It's not ideal in any way, shape or form really. But it's the only option we got. Okay, we have become of age. We are uncouth, which gives us a modifier negative to attraction. The women don't like it if you're uncouth, basically ungroomed, but it's fine. We're still shrewd, which is nice. We need to wait for her to come of age as well. And we're definitely going to go for the war focus. Doesn't really matter. We just need more military might. Let's groom an heir. And uh, let's not lead troops ourselves, shall we? So is there anything else we can do? Any more troops we can scrounge up somewhere? No, but... We might win this over here. Oh, we are leading. Well, it was a little bit too late to pull out of this. But at least it's going well. And we will go for temperate. Let's unite our troops. I'm afraid of leading armies. After what happened... To our... What was he? What was he to us anyway? Can we find him in the family tree again? Look at all that sickness. And our family. Okay, we need to pursue. As is tradition in Armenia. Pursuing the enemy as they flee. Us to not give them any sort of advantage. So you can't despair. It can be really frustrating to play like this. You're kind of small and you're constantly on the defense. Yeah, let's have a throwing contest because those never go wrong, right? Wrong. They very often go wrong, as you can see by this man being absolutely mangled. He might just die. At least it wasn't us who got that negative modifier. Instead, for us, it was a glorious day. Where is he going? I think he's fleeing further. Aha, this time we get the defensive bonus. 
Cutting you off. Bring our home troops home. What do we get? We get a whole 200 prestige. We don't get gold. Just get this prisoner. Which we can't even ransom for anything. I don't want to ransom our counts who hated us so. Alright. So with the war focus we will get a little bit of extra martial might here. Make sure our court is doing the right things. Or so good. Any rules we want to change? Yeah, we want to change this one at some point, but we have to rule for 10 years for that. Oh, we could change something in the obligations for once, which would be nice. So, I'm always a little bit confused between noble and burkeh, because burkeh uh, in German, if you put another R at the end, it would mean lord of the castle, basically. But this means city leaders this is church clearly and those are the highborn ones so we could either ask for more men from our nobles or ask for more money from our cities and i think we're going to go for more money from our cities with that change that we can do because we don't want or need to change any realm laws Oh, it's alright. See how our money is doing. Should bounce back quickly once all those armies are gone, which they are. We'll just have to wait one more year for our betrothed to become of age. We can marry her. Can we build this up a bit more? More fortifications, barracks. I think more fortifications might be nice. Let's push this higher. They can steal less from us. But I do believe we just mainly need garrison sizes. Especially here, this one needs to go up, up, up. But we need more money for it. Alright, yeah. Let's train with him. That way we gain a friend too. Right now I don't want to build anything because... This needs to go up. We need to have a good seven, eight hundred gold or something in the bank before we start considering building new things, proving what we have. Just because you are in such a precarious situation, if you are at war, and you have as few troops to call upon as we do, you really rely on all the money you can get. To potentially bolster your ranks with a bunch of mercenaries. So Crusader Egypt and Egypt are still in Christian hands. All as it should be. They're really weak. Ah, very good. What should we focus on? Flat terrain expert, rough terrain expert, or mountain expert? Can we seek another area of expertise? Yeah. I mean, mountain expert wouldn't be too bad here. We have a bunch of mountains. But we'll wait and see. Maybe another thing props up. 
Or I just remove the only option to ever militarily improve. And yes, I will probably never actually correctly pronounce militarily on purpose. I mean, this is looking very attractive, right? You want to, want to just barely put the money in there, but I'm going to. We need it. When will you be ready? There she is. My bride. And it is indeed everyone's concern. Like an alliance? No. So, our strong wife doesn't like us very much. Give her a little gift. And again, let's wait for all troops to replenish. really want to compose a book we don't have anything spe specifically good to say we have a friend here we are fine with his religion we don't really need him to change that Let's give him some more troops. Or should we dissolve them? Let's see, how much money did they bring us? None. Ah, they're not currently on contract, though of course they don't bring us money. Um, hmm. But they do cost us about 10% of our manpower. is a sizable chunk at this point not nothing you want to marry our courtier surely enjoy come on wife pregnancy now please I'm just kind of clicking through menus, looking for things to do. Oh, great. My spy master was wounded in doing her duty. Aha! There we go. The heavy infantry or cavalry leader. I think... Our troops mostly composed of. Let's check. We have a whole lot of heavy infantry, but also a bunch of cavalry. I'll go for heavy infantry. That's generally good with feudal systems. Have a little gander around. They're really strong. They're not really strong, but also not really something I can go to war for with. We could do a tributary war. We'll just extort tribute rather than actually establish a tributary state because then they can call us in on stuff and we only really want the benefit of things without any of the obligations he's quite strong how is anatolia looking also quite strong jerusalem is weak but too far off we are really boxed in here 
you're quite boxed in. Knights of Crete. This tier. But what to do? Could hold a grand tournament. Costs a good bit of money. Gives us some prestige, which don't really need. We'll just wait until we have heirs, until we do anything interesting or dangerous, which often coincides. Anatolian Holy War for Tripoli. Tripoli. Where's Tripoli and why are you in there? Oh, they probably just joined. You're fighting them. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's go extort some tribute. I think the time is good for that. Raise a bunch of these. Some of our own. Not all of them. Just enough to be a threat here. And we will also lead, which is probably going to be our downfall. We have enough troops, so center leader lead center. We go on the flank and they go over here. Now we should probably lead the flank with all the heavy foot other than the other flank. Okay, he's counter sieging. Can we go in here somehow without crossing a river? I guess I am. We'll go there. Ah, uh, darn raiders. Jumping some of our reinforcements. Okay, they're locked in to attack us here. In a very unfavorable position for them. Especially since we're also still receiving reinforcements. That was quite successful. Let's push our advantage. Okay, our steward just gives us a whole bunch of money, which he says people have saved up to just give to us. Calling shenanigans on that one? But I can't be too certain. Nothing for now. Nope. We are not giving out anything he's now our rival but we could duel which in the past has turned out so well for us right why wouldn't we duel him why are we not leading anymore this game of course i put myself on the wrong flank again Okay, he's putting his troops back together. Or oh, he's trying at least. 
shall not succeed. We'll keep fighting him. More victories for us. Let us go siege. Might actually split to siege. Ah, wife is pregnant too. Not going to split the siege. Very tempting to attack them again. Let's. They're right there. Great, you have improved the relationship with our imprisoned uncle. Great news. All little bit of reinforcements. Destroying them entirely. So he has nothing left. Now we can split. Oh yeah, let's go for cavalry and heavy. But that's a decent accumulation combination of traits there now let us be the terrible meanies who just roll over reinforcements as they come in Let's see if we are allowed to finish this up before we are ta taken apart by others again. Let's see how long this uh, peaceful war lasts.